Remember kids, don't shimmy with a full beer. Hey, it's Tuesday and I am doing the lame thing and I am going to videotape in my car because Peter took the easiest one and did it outside and it is already 7.37 on Tuesday night and I haven't started my video. Full time jobs suck. But, I did sign up for the gym today, which is awesome. Okay, so, this is Shelby's challenge, so, check. Eric asked about our worst professor or TA, and, oh, man, oh, Paul, let me tell you, I had an econ professor, strangely enough, it seems like those are the worst, who, I won't say his name, although I don't really care, because it's been a while since I've been in school, but he used to make up words, like, he was really hard to understand, anyway, he wrote the book, so the book was hard to read, he wouldn't make sense in the lectures, and he would make up words one day, he was like, one day you may move to the great state of Cal, Florida, and me and my friend were like, excuse me, come again, Cal, Florida? This is one giant hot mess, let me tell you. Okay, so is there anything more about that professor? I don't think so. I might get terribly lost in the making of this video, seeing as I've never driven around this neighborhood before, but it'll be an adventure. And you can all join me, viewers and other five awesome Midwesterners. So we did your challenge, Alex. So let me read you, recite to you my line, and I'll put the lyrics on the bottom or something. But here's my, the second line for our song. Six months of winter we endure while we wait for flowers to bud and mature. It's key that flowers is just one syllable here. There's an apostrophe in it. So otherwise it would be 19. I don't know where I am. I'm at Emerson Avenue. Left or right, left or right. There's a sign up there that says right, so we're going right. It's an adventure! Whee! Um, Peter, I'm going to do your challenge once I get back inside the house because I don't think I can reenact a scene while I drive. This is unsafe enough. Seriously, this is hard. Oh my, I'm so lame. Ugh. Sorry, you know what I do when I need to feel completely original? <laughs> I make a noise or I do something that no one has ever done before and then I can feel original maybe if it's just for like a second. So no one's ever done that? No, not in this spot. You just witnessed a completely original event in human history. It's refreshing. You should try it. Oh, no, no. No, come on. No, um, no, I think that was good enough for the both of us. Come on, what are you, shy? This is your one opportunity to do something completely original. Something that no one else has ever done before. And that no one will copy throughout human existence. And if nothing else, you'll be remembered as that guy that did that one thing at that one time. How is that? Oh, I've done that one before. So I have this hamster I need to bury before the dogs eat it. Want to help? Huh? Huh? I joined a gym today, which is something that I have been meaning to do for years. I had a membership to a gym for two years, but it was really cheap and I never went for two years. I am going to give you guys a break from challenges, even though I wanted to do one since I haven't yet. What is something that you've been putting off doing for a long time? My unofficial challenge for you is to go out and do it. Because seriously, I feel, even though I haven't worked out yet, so I may change my mind next time. I feel so much better having actually signed up. There's something I can talk about. We went, me and Andy went downtown on Saturday night and we met Corey from Five Awesome Gays and it was so much fun. He is a blast. He's 
way taller than you'd think, and I'm way smaller than he thought, so I guess that evens out. Uh, FYI, I'm short, just so you know. Beware, beware, set the chorus to them. Got a lot of heart, what you laughed about. Here's one good line from the masses of us. You can see without eyes.